the aftermath of the terrorist attack in Kashmir, India conducted an airstrike operation codenamed Operation Sindor. According to emerging reports, this operation targeted multiple Pakistani air bases. And in this operation, a weapon played a vital role named Brahmos. The Brahmos missile. For the Brahmos uses with the Brahmos superiority. The Brahmos is indeed a supersonic cruise missile and widely considered one of the best in its category globally. Its exceptional speed, typically ranging from Mark 2.8 to Mark 3.5, sets it apart from many other cruise missiles. This means the Brahmos can travel at 2.8 times the speed of sound, which is approximately 3,430 km per hour. The Brahmos missile typically measures between 8.2 to 8.4 meters in length. Its diameter generally ranges from 0.6 to 0.7 meters, though the Brahmos NG has a smaller diameter of approximately 0.5 meters. The approx weighed between 2,200 to 3,000 kilograms, depending on the variant. The body is the main cylindrical structure that encloses the missile's internal components. Wings. Typically, four-clip delta shapes located mid-body provide the necessary lift and stability during flight. The nose cone houses the radar seeker used for terminal guidance and may also contain other sensors and explosive material. Inside the rocket, a missile stores the liquid fuel required for the ramjet engine. The engine contains a fuel injector, flame holder, and nozzle. There is a two-stage propulsion system. The first stage, the booster stage, is a solid rocket motor attached at the rear that provides the initial thrust to reach supersonic speeds before detaching. The second stage involves the ramjet intake, typically located on the underbelly after booster separation. This missile can launch from land-based mobile launchers, naval ships, submarines, and fighter jets. Let's see how this missile works. Before launch, the target coordinates and other relevant parameters are fed into the missile's onboard computer system from the launch platform's fire control system. After that, the missile launches and a solid propellant rocket motor at the rear ignites, providing immense thrust to rapidly accelerate the missile to supersonic speeds. Its automatic direction system allows it to change its flight path after launch. After the booster separates, a liquid-fueled ramjet engine takes over. Here the ramjet is an air-breathing engine that uses the missile's high forward speed to compress incoming air. The air enters through a specially designed intake and is compressed due to the missile's high forward speed. This high-pressure air is then mixed with fuel. The fuel is supplied from the fuel tank and ignited in a combustion chamber. Here, it generates hot high-velocity exhaust gases that are expelled through a nozzle, providing continuous thrust to maintain supersonic speeds. When the Brahmos hits the target, the impact can directly activate an impact fuse. This fuse then triggers the explosive material inside the warhead, causing it to detonate. This rapid detonation generates a powerful blast wave and fragmentation. Um, that wraps up today's video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Brahmos, so please share your comments. Thank you.